Hey Aries, Rising Storm here. So I'm going to be doing a general love reading from now until the ending of October. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch your storylines however you would like, alright? So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energies, Aries, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now until the ending of October 2023? What is going on with Aries and the person that Aries is dealing with here? <clears throat> So the overall view talks about the moon, okay? Maybe dealing with the Pisces, it doesn't have to be, okay? Take the rolls and switch them however you would like. You may be dealing with another Aries here. I got a water sign, air sign, earth sign, but we'll see what's going on. Your overall view is the moon in reverse. So what is this moon in reverse about? What is this moon in reverse about? In the page of wands, so the overall view talks about maybe coming out of some sort of silent period here or revealing something here, like coming out of a period of silence or having some sort of communication, or at least that's the overall view here, some sort of communication, all right? Um, so Aries, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So what is this Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Show me the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, please. What is this? What is this? So... Again, so you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so right now it, it kind of just looks like there's a lack of commitment or no commitment at all between the two of you or problems with commitment, but at the same time it's like you're in this energy of not even trying to work on this. Okay, so there's this energy of not really taking, not really working on the connection, not really having something stable or a lack of commitment, not really putting the time and energy into this right now. Um, you got the Queen of Cups in reverse. What is this Queen of Cups in reverse about? Show me the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you may see, you may kind of be emotionally kind of... <sighs> emotionally being distant. Okay, I'm getting the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you may be kind of like being emotionally distant, not, in, uh, not really opening up emotionally, being closed off. Okay, it's like you're leaving this person out in the cold. So I don't know if you're ghosting this person or this, whatever it is, take how it resonates, but it, it just kind of feels like you're not working on this, there's a lack of commitment, you're not, you know, putting the energy and time with this, you're being emotionally closed off, and on top of that, you're leaving this out in the cold. For some of you, you could be leaving this person out in the cold, or you could be ghosting them as well. Alright, you could be dealing with a heavy earth sign, it doesn't have to be, but the person that you're dealing with, Aries, has the Five of Swords in reverse. What is this Five of Swords in reverse about? What is this Five of Swords in reverse about? clarify the five of swords in reverse so they are planning to come out of conflict with you or this is someone who's wanting to come out of conflict with you or they're wanting to reconcile on some level here with the five of swords in reverse to so the two of wands i feel like maybe they could be planning on having some sort of reconciliation or wanting some sort of reconciliation right now or they could be at a crossroads here to, to figure out you know how to reconcile here with you uh five of swords is in reverse so maybe they want to clear they want to clear the air or have something here with you, right? And they may be kind of like at a crossroads about it or maybe they could be planning on how to do this because this is someone who's like wanting to communicate with you with the Page of Pentacles or they're wanting to have some sort of um, offer to be had here. Oh, so let's see what's going on. So clarify the Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles about? Show me the Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles? What is this here? Yeah, and the Nine of Swords, they're really stressing about this. So this is someone who's like, they're really in their head about this. They're really stressing out about it. They're overthinking. They're restless over the situation. I do feel like maybe there could be some sort of, <clears throat> maybe regret or some sort of sadness here um, to this. There's a wish unfulfillment. There's sadness here. There's disappointment. But it's like they're more like in their head about communicating with you or they're more in their head here about having some sort of offer or giving you some sort of offer with the page of pentacles they seem to be really stressing out or really overthinking the situation they want to come out of conflict here with you and they may be trying to plan on how to do that or see what's going what, how to go about it but the overall the why is all happening is the emperor in reverse so somebody here is really not taking control of the situation or somebody here could be not budging all right what is this emperor in reverse about Show me the Emperor in reverse. What is this Emperor in reverse? Clarify this for me, please. And the Four of Wands. Somebody's not budging here in regards to having a relationship. Having something stable. Having, you know, some sort of foundation here. Some sort of stability. So, uh, that's why it's all happening. Not really taking control in regards to actually getting into a relationship. Or having a relationship. Or, you know, not budging in regards to that. 
So Aries, how do you see this person? How does Aries see this person? What can you tell me? Aries, how do, are you seeing this person here? The Ace of Wands. Why the Ace of Wands? Clarify the Ace of Wands. And the King of Pentacles. <laughs> uh, this is how you're seeing them? Uh, clarify this Ace of Wands for how you're seeing uh, this person, Aries. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify this Ace of Wands. Oh, so wait, you see this person as someone who's looking to have some sort of brand new start with you, looking to have something, you know, serious with you. You see this person as someone who's looking to have something serious, the King of Pentacles, right? Something, something, uh, stable. So it's like you, you, you see this person, Aries, as someone who's looking to, you know, rush towards you to have some sort of new beginning or, you know, to, to have something stable here with the King of Pentacles, uh, what is this King of Pentacles about? What is this King of Pentacles? What is this? If you see this person as someone that who's looking to move, what? Hmm. If you see this person as someone who's looking to have a new beginning with you, or looking to come in slowly with an offer of stability it's like you see this person as someone who wants to have a relationship or wants to have something you know stable coming in what is this ace of wands what's the ace of wands about and the high priestess of reverse yeah you see this person as someone who wants to come out of a period of no communication a period of silence to have some sort of new beginning uh some of you may be dealing with the Virgo, it doesn't have to be, but it's like you see this person as someone who wants to come out of a silent period, wants to have a passionate new start, right? Wants to, you know, slowly, possibly, you know, get into something serious or get something stable here. But it's like you're leaving them out in the cold, you're not really working on this. There's like, there's a lack of commitment or fear of commitment or this energy of not wanting to be committed to this person. I don't know. Uh, show me the person that Aries is dealing with. Show me the person that Aries is dealing with. How are they seeing Aries right now at this time? How are they seeing Aries at this time? Please show me. This is too many. For some of you, they see you, Aries, as someone who's not really chasing them, someone who's not trying to pursue them. Okay. How are they seeing? How is this person that Aries is dealing with? Wow, I can't. How is this person seeing Aries? Show me. How is the person that Aries is dealing with? How are they seeing Aries? How is this person seeing Aries? <clears throat> How is this person seeing Aries, please? Show me, show me, show me. The Ace of Wands again. <laughs> Clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. What the hell is going on? They see you as someone... Oh, boy. They see you, Aries, as someone that they would like to have a passion new beginning with. Someone that they want to work things out, come together, be collaborative, right? Be on the same page. They see you as someone that they want to have a new beginning with. Um, but what is this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands here? What is this Ace of Wands? Show me the Three of Pentacles. Show me the... Ooh. Show me the Three of Pentacles here. What is this Three of Pentacles about? What is this Three of Pentacles about? The Three of Swords. They see you as someone who's severing ties with them or cutting them off. They see you, Aries, as someone who's severing ties with them. Three Swords in Reverse. Whoever this is, the person that you're dealing with, Aries, they want to have a new beginning. They want to come out of conflict. They want to have a new start here. They're stressing out about it big time. Because, like, they don't want to be single from you or separate from you. But at the same time, they see you as someone who is severing ties with them or cutting them off in regards to maybe coming together. For some of you, there could be a third party. It doesn't have to be. But it's like they see you as someone who's cutting them off even in regards to, you know, trying to work things out together or coming together with that Three of Swords in reverse there. Um, give me Aries. Aries, what are your next actions when it comes to this person? What are Aries' next actions when it comes to this person here? Can you show me? What are Aries' next actions when it comes to this person? The Hierophant? Clarify the Hierophant for your actions. Show me the Hierophant. The King of Cups. 
Taurus energy, what's going on here? Why the Hierophant? Clarify the Hierophant here. Okay, so their next actions here, they're not, they're very, they're not sure whether they want to commit here, okay? They're very closed off when it comes to commitment, when it comes to a higher level of commitment, all right? They're very in two minds about having commitment. Show me this King of Cups. Show me this King of Cups here. What is this King of Cups? And Eight of Swords is in reverse. Their next actions, they're, you know what it is? I don't think that this is someone who, uh, why the Eight of Swords? Why is this Eight of Swords in reverse here? Why the Eight of Swords? The Eight of, I see their, their next actions here is to release themselves from this. Okay, they're looking, Aries, you're looking to release yourself from this connection. You're not looking to, you're very closed off or very indecisive when it comes to having a higher level of commitment with them is what I'm seeing with the higher friend and the two of swords, okay? So it's kind of like not on the table for you. Uh, I see you releasing yourself and walking away from them. So it's like you're releasing yourself, you're walking away from this person, you're not looking to be in a commitment, you're very kind of like closed off when it comes to having some sort of higher level of commitment here. So your next actions basically is to not really give them, not give commitment. It's like you're, you're looking to walk away from this person here, not really be committed to them. You're you're leaving them out in the cold or ghosting them here with that five of five of pentacles. Um give me the person that Aries is dealing with. What what are their next actions when it comes to um when it comes to Aries? What can you tell me? What are their next what are what are their next actions when it comes to the zodiac sign of Aries, the person that Aries is dealing with? What are their next actions here? The two of swords, clarify the two of swords. Why is that? And the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. Clarify the Two of Swords. What is this? What is this Nine of Pentacles in reverse for? Show me the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's like their their next actions here is because they, they want to make something right with you. They want to be fair. They, 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 they don't want to be single or separated from this connection. They want to have some sort of balance or some sort of fairness or justice in the matter but at the same time it's like they're very in two minds about about actually taking action when it comes to having a new beginning why the two of swords why is this two of swords here for their next actions they're not sure i get i'm getting them kind of like holding back in a way too yeah the Seven of Wands, what is this Two of Swords? They're f this person's feeling some type of way. The Eight of Wands in reverse. I don't know if there could have been block communication, literally block communication. It's it's it, This is telling me, like, I'm getting them holding back when it comes to making moves towards you, Aries. But they, they want to make things right with you. They want to they wanna come in with some sort of balance here. But they're in two minds about it. They're in two minds about actually taking action here. They, so they tend to hold back when it comes to their actions. They're... They're they're not sure exactly what to do. Two of Swords. But they know that they want to make something right with you. <clears throat> okay. So, um, what, Aries? Aries, what are your intentions when it comes to this person, please? What are your intentions when it comes to this person? Show me. What are your intentions here? The Queen of Wands in reverse. Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? And the Ten of Swords, your intentions is to not chase them, not really go after them to end this situation. All right, your intentions is to not chase them. You're 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 ending this. The Ten of Swords is here. Why the Ten of Swords? And why the Ten of Swords here? Why the Ten of Swords? What is this Ten of Swords about? <clears throat> why the Ten of Swords? Why the Ten of Swords? The Ace of Swords. I don't know if there could have been some sort of truth here that was known or that happened between the the two of you. I don't know. Yeah, clarify this Five of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Aries. I want to know why the Five of Pentacles is here. Why Why is this happening? Why the Five of Pentacles? Because maybe you no longer feel the same way towards this person. The Six of Pentacles. There's a lack of equal give and take. Maybe this is someone who lacked giving you an equal give and take in the past. 
for some of you, okay? Why is this five of pentacles? Why the five of pentacles for Aries? Why the five of pentacles? It's not really... Why the five of pentacles there? You're releasing yourself from something. It's basically saying that you're you're realizing a situation. You're moving on here. It's what it's saying. So there's something here that you realize or you come to the realization and you're releasing yourself from this. And maybe you no longer feel the same way about this person. You're thinking logically about this. You're you're very cold, very detached. Your next actions is to I mean your intentions is to end this and not really chase this person. I don't know what this is saying. So give me the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their um intentions when it comes to Aries here? What are their intentions when it comes to the zodiac sign of Aries? What are their intentions? What are their intentions? Show me. The death in reverse. They don't want to let you go. But at the same time, they're not coming in with stability. So it's like their intentions here is like they don't want to let you go. They ha they can't let you go or they're having a hard time letting you go. But they're not coming in right to the point of stability. They're not coming in the correct way the queen of pentacles is in reverse so their intentions is to kind of like not have not really let this go or having a hard time letting it go the death in reverse they're refusing to let this go but at the same time they're they're in this energy of focusing on themselves not really coming in with stability not coming in the right way why is the queen of pentacles in reverse for their intentions towards uh, aries here what is this What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse for their intentions with Aries? Yeah, the string card in reverse. Could be done with the Leo. What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse for? The King of Wands. What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think that this is... Seven of Swords, there could have been a possible third party situation here. It could have been, so there's something here with third party, possibly. <sighs> For some of you. But they tend to hold back a lot, okay? They tend to hold back, or maybe the, the problem is that there could possibly be a third party situation here. But it's like their intentions is to not really put stability into this connection, but at the same time, that they can't really let this go or let you go. Oh boy. Could be dealing with the Scorpio here. I got Pisces, Earth sign, Fire sign. It doesn't have to be okay, but what's going on? What's the possible outcome here for now until the ending of October for the situation? What's the possible outcome here for now until the ending of October? Show me what could happen. Eight of Swords, that's like a releasing. Five of Wands, what could happen? What could happen? I'm seeing a, why is all this happening? The Four of Swords in Reverse. Show me this Eight of Swords in Reverse. What is this Eight of Swords? Show me the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, somebody's releasing this and, and, and turning their back. So I'm getting that there is definitely this energy of somebody here just not being stuck in their head about this anymore not really uh feeling trapped in their head in the situation so there's definitely some sort of release here and and turning their back so uh, it's like you're releasing yourself from this you're getting yourself out of this imprisonment energy or out of this stuck energy and it's like you're turning your back when it comes to this and i think it's gonna start it's gonna stir some sort of conflict uh, with this person that you're dealing with with that five of wands there. What is this five of wands? Clarify the five of wands, please. What is this? Yeah, it's like they're going to be they're gonna <laughs> They're gonna be feeling some type of way because you are letting them go or you're dropping this or you're fighting this you, Like you're not fighting this you're you're basically throwing in the towel and you're not fighting for this You're letting it go and it's gonna cause some sort of conflict with the person that you're dealing with I don't know if there is arguments or some sort of tension here It's the, this is someone who's feeling some type of way that you're no longer invested into them Aries I don't know what is this seven of so seven of pentacles in reverse yeah, I see block communication. There's definitely this energy of sadness or disappointment by it. I do think that there could have been a third party situation going on here. What is this Five of Wands one more time? 
what is this five of wands one more time yeah i think that this is someone who's going to be fighting going against your decision to let them go the five of wands is here i don't know if they're going to start off conflict or whatever the case may be but this is someone who has it they can't move on from you or they're having a hard time moving on from this connection and it's like they're upset or they're feeling some sort of jealousy or some sort of type of way here. The fact that you're just giving up or you're throwing in the towel or you're not fighting for this anymore. And it's like they, you know, I, I'm getting them trying to kind of like come back around to you while you're just turning your back towards them. Uh, there is definitely blocked communication as well. Why it's all happening? The four swords is in reverse. So clarify that. The world, yeah. They feel like things are not finished between the two of you or there's a lack of closure here. So the why is all happening is the you know the four swords in reverse so that's coming out of coming out of a period of a break feeling like things are not done uh it's like this is someone who they don't want to end this connection okay there, there's some sort of resistance in this energy uh, in regards to them letting you go if you know what i mean i, I see block communication or why is this eight of wands here you're, yeah, because you're cutting them off and they are not having it. So, Aries, you may be cutting this person off. You may be kind of dropping the burden. And it's like they still come back around towards you because they refuse to let you go. Or this is someone who has a hard time moving on from you. Or maybe they can't handle the fact that you're no longer giving them that attention. Or you're no longer working on this connection anymore. Okay, so that's what I'm getting if this resonated, um, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you on the next video. And God bless everybody. I'll see you later. Bye.